It's nighttime in the big city. A student faces down a deadline. A man with gin on his breath is pulled over. It's theme time radio hour with your host, Bob Dylan. Well, the old clock on the wall says it's time once again for America's favorite radio program, Theme Time Radio Hour. In the background is the theme song from the hit TV series, 60 Minutes. That ought to give you a clue of today's subject. It's the thing that nobody has enough of. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about time. The ticks of the clock. The sweet second hand. 60 seconds in a minute. 60 minutes in an hour. 24 hours in a day. 365 days in a year. Time marches on. Our time here is short, and we want to make use of every minute of it. So over the next 60, we're going to be listening to songs all about the fourth dimension. That is, time. Starting things off is the First Lady of New Orleans, Irma Thomas. The Rolling Stones heard this version of this song and recorded it the same year Irma did. Their version's a little better known, but I've always been partial to Irma's version. Even though, contrary to popular belief, it's not the original. I'll tell you all about that after you give a listen to it. Here's Irma Thomas, like a snow leopard ready to pounce. Time is on my side. The original version was actually performed by jazz trombonist Kay Winding, who was from Denmark. 
He moved to the United States and joined Benny Goodman's band and later had a number of popular jazz records with fellow trombonist J.J. Johnson. In the mid-60s, Kay wanted to commercialize his sound. He talked to New York songwriter Jerry Ragavoy, and Jerry wrote this song for him. The vocals were handled by Dionne Warwick, Dee Dee Warwick, and Whitney's mom, Sissy Houston. Maybe sometime we'll spin that one. But in the meantime, you can't go wrong with Irma Thomas. William Shakespeare once said, It's better three hours too soon than one minute too late. Dr. John said, It's better to be in the right place at the right time than to be in the right place in the wrong time. Number nine, pop chart hit from 1973. Right place, wrong time. Dr. John. I've been in the right place, but it must have been the wrong time. I'd have said the right thing, but it must have used the wrong line. I've been on the right trail, but it must have used the wrong call. It is in a bad place, and I wonder what it's good for. I've been in the right place, but it must have been the wrong time. My head is in a bad place, but I'm having such a good time. I've been running, trying to keep tongue up in my mind. Just got to give myself a good talking to this time. Just need a little brain salad surgery. I got to cue my insecurity. That I've been in the wrong place, but it must have been the right time. been a wrong song I've been in the right vein but it seems like a wrong on I've been in the right world but it seems like a wrong 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 Time by Dr. John on her theme time radio hour. Themes, dreams, and schemes all in perfect time. Here's a song. You probably recognize it from one of the greatest movies ever made, Casablanca. Of course, I'm talking about the song as Time Goes By, sung by the man who sings it in the movie, Arthur Dooley Wilson, who was the only member of the cast who had actually ever been to Casablanca. He left the United States because of ethnic prejudices and formed a band to tour Europe. He returned to America and tried to survive as an actor. He became disgusted for what he called the Pullman Porter Rules. He was about to leave Hollywood when Hal Wallace started auditions for the role of Sam in Casablanca. Dooley got the part, and the rest is history. Here's Dooley Wilson as time goes by. Remember this A kiss is still a kiss A sigh is just a sigh The fundamental things apply As time goes by And when two lovers woo they still say I 
love you on that you can rely no matter what the future brings as time goes by moonlight and love songs are never out of day hearts full of passion jealousy and hate woman needs man and man must have his mate that no one can deny it's still the same old story a fight for love and glory a case of do or die the world will always welcome lovers as time goes by moonlight and love songs are never out of date hearts full of passion jealousy and hate woman needs man and man must have its mate that no one can deny it's still the same old story a fight for love and glory a case of do or die the world will always welcome lovers as time goes by as time goes by Dooley Wilson he got the nickname Dooley while working in the Pekin Theater in Chicago. He was singing his signature Irish song, Mr. Dooley, which he performed in Whiteface. It was a big hit, and he became identified with it for the rest of his career. By the way, Humphrey Bogart never said, play it again, Sam, in Casablanca. This is what he said instead. What's that you're playing? Oh, just a little something on my own. Oh, stop it. You know what I want to hear. No, I don't. You played it for her, you play it for me. Well, I don't think I can remember. If she can stand it, I can. Play it. Let's go down to Jamaica right now and check in with Derek Morgan, the unrivaled king of ska. Well, actually, he did have some rivals. The biggest one was Prince Buster. The two of them became embroiled in a fierce musical feud, which quickly spilled over amongst their fans. In 1963, battles between the two sets of fans became so intense, the leaders of the Jamaican government had no choice but to step in. They called a ceasefire and brought the two performers together and have them pose for publicity pictures, burying the hatchet. I had a very similar thing with Gordon Lightfoot. Here he is, Derek Morgan. <laughs> I'm 
That was Time Marches On by Derek Morgan. And now it's time for an email. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this one looks good. This one's from Pablo Nesbitt. He's up in the mile high city of Aspen. Well, that's actually more than a mile high. Aspen, Colorado. I wonder if he's a member of the Mile High Club. To the theme time. I was up late the other night, and I caught a weird movie on television. It was from the late 60s, and it was a driving type horror movie, but people were singing. I think it was made in the South. It was called The Exotic Ones. One of the monsters looks strangely familiar. You have any idea who it could be? Well, Pablo, I can't believe how glad I am you asked that question. The Exotic Ones has long been one of my favorite grand house classics. One of the reasons I love it so much is that one of the swamp monsters is played by Thomas Paulsley LaBeth, who you might know better as Sleepy LaBeef, the six foot seven rockabilly singer whose heavily lidded eyes made him look half asleep and gave him his nickname. He made a number of rockabilly records for Pappy Daly and occasionally starred in drive in horror movies. I think for this show, we're going to stick to his records. Here he is, with a song called All the Time, the darkly shaded Sleepy Le Beef. How much I love that the woman of mine, how much I love that the woman of mine, all for your love I'll never find, and I want her with me all the time. What would I give to have her now? What would I give to have her now? I'd give my life. It's no good, no how. If I can't have her with me all the time. Well, if you see her, please don't tell her for me. Her she'll be daddy full of misery. I want to see her when the sun goes down. I'll be looking all over town because I can't stop. My crazy heart, no, I can't stop. My crazy heart, it feels just like it'll break apart if I can't have her with me all the time. sun goes down. I'll be looking all over town cause I can't stop. My crazy heart. No, I can't stop. My crazy heart. It feels just like it'll break apart if I can't have her with me all the time. That was Sleepy the Beef, a man who lived on the road for many years. People keep trying to revive Rockabilly, and the bands that are doing it spend most of their time listening to old Rockabilly. The truth of the matter is, the guys who made the early Rockabilly records were listening to a whole bunch of other stuff. You can't play Rockabilly without understanding the rhythms of the big bands. Rockabilly is a poor man's big band. It was too expensive taking their big bands on the road. Those smaller combos like Louis Jordan band emphasized the beat and use electric guitars to get the same effect with a smaller, more manageable number of musicians. Rockabilly added a little bit of country influence and a whole lot of attitude and a new genre is formed. Whatever music you love, it didn't come from nowhere. It's always good to know what went down before you because if you know the past, you can control the future. But be careful of the flip side of the coin. Those who do not understand the past are doomed to repeat it. Here's someone who never repeated herself. A lovely Miss Etta James with a song called Only Time Will Tell. Cigarette ashes Whoa. 
was it good night? I want to know now. Or was it goodbye? Through the sofa, scuff marks on the floor shows where he was sitting. Oh, he was sitting a moment ago. He's never left this early before. Is this a sign? He'll be back no more And only time Only time Time will tell James, only time will tell. Allegedly, Etta James was the one and only daughter of the great pool shark, Minnesota Fats. I never heard his side of the story. Before the late 19th century, timekeeping was a local phenomenon. Each town would set their town clock to noon when the sun reached its highest point in the day. A clockmaker, or town clock, would be the official time and citizens would set their official pocket watches and clocks to the time of the town. Enterprising citizens would serve as mobile clock setters, carrying a watch to people's homes to adjust them to the town's time. When you travel from city to city, you'd have to change your pocket watch upon arrival. However, that all changed when the railroads came in, when people moved across great distances on a regular basis. Time became much more critical. You couldn't make a railroad schedule if every city had a different local time. In 1878, Sir Sanford Fleming proposed the system of worldwide time zones. He said the world should be divided into 24 time zones, each one spaced 15 degrees of longitude apart. Sir Fleming's time zones were considered a brilliant solution and are still used to this day. So in his honor, here's a song by Eddie Boyd. About those 24 hours. And ever since Eddie's girl's been gone, it's been 23 too long. Here's Eddie Bud, 24 hours. Well, I'm sitting here waiting for her to call me on the phone. She's been gone 20 
24 hours And that's 23 hours too long I couldn't hardly stay in bed Next morning I tried to eat my breakfast And the blues was all in my brain I'm sitting here waiting For a heart to call me on the phone She'd been gone 24 hours And that's 23 hours too long The next eight hours I spent rambling Going from place to place No matter what I looked at I could still see my baby's face Been gone 24 hours, and that's 23 hours too long. Next eight hours I spent praying, praying for her to return. If she don't come back to me, you know my heart. I'm sitting here waiting for her to call me on the phone. She's been gone 24 hours, and that's 23 hours too long. That was blues piano great Eddie Boyd. He ended up passing away in Helsinki, Finland in 1994. His time had come, but he left behind hours of great music. Like William Faulkner said, the past is never dead. It's not even past. That reminds me of Macbeth's soliloquy. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying nothing. By the way, some of you literary types are already aware that that's where William Faulkner got the phrase... The sound and the fury. Like I said, all of these things have roots. No matter how strong you are, there's one thing you can never do. Tyrone Davis is going to tell you all about it. Tyrone was born in Greenville, Mississippi. He moved to Chicago and became the valet and chauffeur for bluesman Freddie King. He recorded his first single under the name Tyrone the Wonder Boy. This is a great example of Sweet Chicago Soul. And in 1970, it was number one on the R&B charts and number three on the pop charts. No matter what you do, you can't turn back the hands of time. i 
to me, baby And I just realized, well, darling, I can't go on Cause for your the other hand That makes my life complete If I had one more chance We'd have a laugh so sweet And leaving would be the last thing on my mind If I could turn back the hand There was no wonder boy, Tyrone Davis, turned back the hands of time. Here are some people who wish they could have turned back the hands of time. George Armstrong Custer, who met his fate at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Perhaps you know it as Custer's last stand. It was a catastrophic failure for him. He died with over 210 of his men. Many people feel his failure was a result of many blunders on his part. Poor communication. Failure to wait for reinforcements, excessive cruelty to the Indians, and perhaps the worst sin of all, general overconfidence. Not to be confused with General Custer. Someone else who wishes he could turn back the hands of time was the son of Henry Ford, whose name became forever linked with one of the highest profile failures in automotive history. I'm talking about Henry Ford's son, Edsel Ford. Sorry, fellas, we can't turn back the hands of time. This is Theme Time Radio Hour. We got time right in the title, so today we're going to talk all about it. You know, time's the most elastic of dimensions. When you're having fun, an hour can seem like a minute. On the other hand, when you're having a bad time, a second can last forever. Some people feel that way in school, and Bobby Milano has performed a song about it. Life begins at four o'clock. Bobby Milano. The sitting in school The complicated books Make me feel like a fool Chickens in a coop Make a man wanna shout Bells start ringing And school turns out And you scream Come here my queen We're gonna run Have some fun And everybody knows When you start to rock The life begins At the four o'clock Slip two straws With the soda in between Clapping your hands To the record machine Chicken coop now seems a million miles away And nobody heard of what the teacher had to say And then you scream Come here my queen, we're gonna dance Make romance And everybody knows when you start to rock The life begins at four o'clock Yeah! Watch them men at the dead. Run your baby home, Bailey, and make it in time. The four o'clock tomorrow already on your mind, and you scream. Come here, my queen, we're gonna run. Have some fun, cause everybody knows when you start to rock. The life begins at four o'clock. Watch them men have to death. Run your baby home, barely make it in time. The four o'clock tomorrow, ready on your mind, and then you scream. Come here, my queen, we're gonna run. Have some fun, cause everybody knows when you start to rock, the life begins at four o'clock. That was Bobby Milano. Life begins at four o'clock. Bobby's an interesting character. He got his start on Ted Max Amateur Hour when he was 12 years old. Four years later, he made his first records and headed out to Los Angeles. He didn't have a lot of success making records and ended up becoming part of the Southern California underworld, earning the nickname the Crooning Crybaby. He was the younger brother of Palm Springs-based mob capo, Vincent Dominic Jimmy Cachi. Bobby was made a member of the Peter John Milano crime family. 
He was convicted in 1968 for complicity in jewel theft and transportation of stolen goods. But the story didn't end there. Following his conviction and his incarceration, he transcended his sordid past and returned to the straight and narrow. Thanks to his loving wife, Keely Smith, Milano produced a couple of records for Keeley in the early 70s, long after Keeley was done with her ex-husband, Louis Prima. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Grandfather's clock goes tick, tock. That clock's got rhythm with a beat that swings. Dig that clock. Swing it, clock. All night long, a ticking and a talking, crazy clocks, a swinging and a rocking. In the wee small hours, I fell in the sack to the lullaby of the. 60 minutes might seem like a long time, but for people who practice tantric sex, there's no time at all. And supposedly, tantric sex can go on for hours. Musician Sting supposedly practices tantric sex. And one time said, my wife and my sex can last seven hours. And that includes dinner and a movie. You go, Sting. A lot of R&B records have the singer bragging. And no one brags more than the singer on this record. He's very proud of his lovemaking abilities. He says he's a 60-minute man with 15 minutes of kissing where she hollers, please don't stop. 15 minutes of teasing. 15 minutes of pleasing. And then 15 minutes of blowing his top. <laughs> that sounds more like an hour and a half to me. Here's Billy Ward and the Dominoes, 60 Minute Man. So blowing my top If your old man ain't treating you right Come up and see your dad I'll rock em, roll em all night long I'm a 60 minute man 60 minute man Call him The love and then I'll rock Roll all night long I'm a 60 minute man Don't stop. don't stop There'll be 50 minutes of teasing And 50 minutes of squeezing And 50 minutes of blowing my top If your old man ain't treating you right Come up and see old Dan I'll rock em, roll em all night long I'm a 60 minute man, oh yeah That was 60 Minute Man, Billy Ward and the Dominoes, featuring the bass vocals of Bill Brown. The song went up to number one on the R&B charts. In 1951, the pop charts were a little less eager, perhaps a little frightened by the material. It only went to number 17 there. Bill Brown says he has 15 minutes to blow his top. Well, if Cab Calloway's got 15 minutes, he'd rather spend it resting. According to most musicians' unions, including the AFM, of which I'm a proud member. Performers are allowed a 15-minute break after each 45 minutes of performance. Don't tell my band. Here's Cab Calloway and his break tune, 15-minute intermission. Say, 
Say, what's the matter with you, Cat? You sure look beat back there this evening. Look like you've been knocking yourselves out. We want a 15-minute intermission, folks. We want a 15-minute intermission, folks. We want a 15-minute intermission, folks. With your permission. Intermission. We want a 15-minute intermission, folks. We want a 15-minute Intermission is the gun music got stop I'm sure. An intermission is the only cure to ease your palpitating temper. Sure, you never get to heaven if you treat me this way. We want a 15 minute intermission, boss. We want a 15 minute intermission, boss. We want a 15 minute intermission, boss. Intermission, take a 15 minute intermission, boss. Take a 15. Intermission, boys, take a 15 minute intermission, boys, in your condition. Intermission, take a 15 minute intermission, boys, take 15 minute intermission, boys, take a 15 minute intermission, boys, in your condition. Intermission is dust on music, got stop on shore. An intermission is your only cure. To ease your palpitate number sure. You never get to heaven if you treat me this way. You take a 15 minute intermission, boys. Take a 15 minute intermission, boys. 15 minute intermission, boys, that's my permission. Intermission. Cats can go on in the back and rest for a few ticks. And these folks can come back and knock themselves out in just a few ticks. But uh, I want you cats to take it easy when you come back and knock yourself right on out now. <laughs> folks, I'm sorry. This is intermission now. You can now go back to your tables and sit down. Take it easy for a few ticks. Miss Jones, enjoying yourself. Are you having a nice time, Miss Smith? Thank you very much. Intermission. That was Cab Calloway, 15-minute intermission. That time of the evening when you just want to take a break. Visit your old friends, alcohol and nicotine. Smoke them if you got them, boys. Like sands in an hourglass, so are the days of our lives. The hourglass was an old-style timer that mocked the time by using sand passing through a narrow passageway from one bulb to another. You could see an hourglass on pirate flags where it symbolized the fact that human existence is fleeting. In England, hourglasses were sometimes placed in coffins to symbolize the fact that the sands of time had run out. Willie Nelson is no stranger to the sands of time. One of his first and biggest records was all about time slipping away. Here he is with a song he wrote that was originally a big hit for Billy Walker, though it's also been recorded by Johnny Cash, Sammy Davis Jr., Al Green, Joe Hinton, Wanda Jackson, B.B. King, Ray Price, and Stevie Wonder. Here's the red-headed stranger. Funny how time slips away. Well, hello there. My, it's been a long, long time. How am I doing? Oh, I guess that I'm doing fine. It's been so long now And it seems now That it was only yesterday Gee, ain't it funny How time slips away How's your new love? I hope that he's doing fine I heard 
you told him that you'd love him till the end of time. Now that's the same thing that you told me. It seems like just the other day. Gee, ain't it funny how time slips away? I gotta go now. I guess I'll see you around. I don't know when though. Never know when I'll be back in town. But remember what I tell you. That in time you're gonna pay, and it's surprising how time slips away. That was Willie Nelson. Funny how time slips away. I should have just called Willie and asked if he'd come down here and sing it. Well, maybe next time. You may or may not know the name of Hal Wilner. Hal Wilner is a record producer who loves matching unusual artists with unusual songs. He did a tribute to Walt Disney that featured Tom Waits, The Replacements, and Sun Ra. He also did an album called Lost in the Stars, which featured the music of Kurt Weill, the famous German composer. On this record, he has a lot of great jazz musicians, as well as a number of rock performers. Here's Lou Reed unexpectedly doing the Kurt Weill classic from Knickerbocker Holiday, September song. When I was a young man courting the girls, I played me a waiting game. If a maid refused me with tossing curls, oh, I'd let that old earth take a couple of whirls. While I plied her with tears in place of pearls And as time came around, she came my way As time came around, she came And I have lost my teeth And I'm walking a little lame Hey honey, I haven't got the time For any waiting game And the days turn to gold
That was Lou Reed doing the Kurt Vile classic, September Song. Perhaps Vile's best known work is the Three Penny Opera, which he wrote with Bertolt Breck in 1928. That contains the famous song that turned into Mac the Knife, which Bobby Darren had such a big hit with. Vile fled Nazi Germany in 1933. He was seen as a particular threat by the Nazi authorities, being a prominent Jewish composer. By 1935, he made it to the United States, a place that had always been his dream. Other famous songs he'd wrote, Alabama Song, which you might know by The Doors, but is originally from his show Mahogany, Speak Low from One Touch of Venus, and of course the song we just heard, September Song, The Bittersweet Tale of Time Passing. Ray Charles had a keen eye for talent. He recognized that Percy Mayfield was a unique songwriter whose work was perfectly suited for Ray's distinctive style. Percy wrote Ray's big smash chart topper, Hit the Road Jack. But a few years before that, Ray recorded this song, a powerful slice of rhythm and blues. Two Years of Torture, written by Percy Mayfield and sung by Ray Charles. <laughs> Done been told that time brings about a change. I've often been told that time brings about a change. Yes, I've had two years of torture. And my heart still feel the same I had a real fine woman Fine as she could be Let me tell you I had a real, real fine woman Fine as she could be But the syndicators, backbiters, stole that little girl away from me. Without her, 730 days, and I still remember her little brown body and the sweet little baby way. Two years of torture, and I'm still in misery. Oh, but I'm doomed as a lover. Unless she come back to me Ray Childs, Two Years of Torture There's no shortage of stories about lost love There's Butterfly and Captain Pinkerton and Madame Butterfly There's Heathcliff and Catherine in Wuthering Heights There's Pip and Estella in Great Expectations 
And as we talked about earlier, Rick and Ilsa in Casablanca. Ray could have been singing about any of them. I work with a guy named Tex Carbone. He's very laid back. It takes him two hours to watch 60 Minutes. I'm the exact opposite. I can make minute rice in 30 seconds. Here's a lovely lady who was born in Gore, Virginia, Patsy Cline. The song we're going to play, Walking After Midnight, was not released right away by the record company. Patty got the opportunity to perform on the Arthur Godfrey Talent Show. She sang this song, and it went over like gangbusters. The big success convinced the record company that they had a hit, When Walking After Midnight came out in a hurry. You could do things like that in those days. Here's Patsy Klein, Walking After Midnight. Klein, walking after midnight. Well, we couldn't talk about time without talking a little bit about the witching hour. In the European folklore, that's the time when supernatural creatures, such as witches, demons, and ghosts, are thought to be at their most powerful, and black magic at its most effective. The hour is midnight. One of the earliest known uses of the phrase is from the last line of a short story by Washington Irving. Two pairs of eyes are watching me now from the couch in the ledge by the window. Fairland shines in those eyes, and I must leave you, for it's the witching hour, and a full moon is rising. Mary Shelley used the phrase in the introduction to Frankenstein. Night waned upon this talk, and even the witching hour has gone by before we retire to rest. Clarence Gatemouth Brown also talks about the witching hour, the midnight hour. Here he is, Gatemouth Brown.
himself, Clarence Gatemouth Brown, at the midnight hour. Gatemouth was also the house band leader on an amazing television show called The Beat from 1966, which shows some of the greatest soul music you'll ever see. It was thought to be lost forever, but those folks at Bear Family put them all out on DVD. To the Bear Family folks we say, dunk a shame. The question that comes up an awful lot is, what time is it? Well, this song doesn't exactly answer that question, but it does tell quite an interesting story. Eugene Pitt and the Jive Five, singing one of the last great doo-wop songs, What Time Is It? But the real interesting story is about the guys who wrote this song, and I'll tell you all about them after we give a listen. What Time Is It? The Jive Five.
was Eugene Pitt and the Giant Five. What time is it? Written by Bob Feldman, Jerry Goldstein, and Richard Gutterer. They were three Brooklyn songwriter producers. They had a number one hit with a song they wrote called My Boyfriend's Back. They weren't totally satisfied being behind the scenes. And when the British invasion hit, they decided to get in on the act by recording as a group called The Strange Loves from the non-existent town of Armstrong, Australia. They retired from sheep herding to form their band. A bold lie for three Brooklyn boys. They had a hit with this song, I Want Candy, which was later recorded by Bow Wow Wow. Eventually, they quit performing and wrote and produced more hits for the McCoys, including Hang On Sloopy. Richard Gotterer later produced records by Blondie, The Go-Go's, Joan Armitrade, and The Ravenettes. Not bad for a Brooklyn-born sheep herder who had never been to Australia. How much time do we have? Minutes, days, months, years? We don't know. But this we do know. Civil defense is everybody's business. It's a big job getting civil defense organized to operate efficiently. But then atomic attack is disaster on a big scale. We can and must get the job done if we are to survive. How much time do we have to prepare? We don't know. But this we do know. Civil defense is everybody's business. It's your business. Next up is a song not just about time, but perfect for the times. Willie Williams. I'm a Gideon time. The interesting thing about a lot of reggae music is how they recycle backing tracks. Like in this next song. This was originally a smash hit by the Soul Vendors in 1967. It was called Real Rock back then. Later on, Papa Michigan and Smiley had a hit with a song called Nice Up the Dance using the same backing track. <laughs> Willie Williams took that same backing track, added some modern sound effects, at least they were modern when the song was recorded, and a lyric about the end times. Put them together and came up with this. I'm a Gideon time. A lot of people won't get no supper tonight. A lot of people going to supper tonight. Cause the battle is getting hot in this iration it's a magician a lot of people won't get no justice tonight so a lot of people going to have to stand up and fight but remember to praise Jehovah and he will guide you in this iration, it's a magician. Yeah. Oh, oh. A lot of people will be running and hiding tonight Say the lot of one going to run and hide tonight Cause it's your action You must get your fraction In this iration It's Armageddon A lot of people won't get no supper tonight Say the lot of one won't get no justice tonight I say but remember To praise Jehovah And he will guide you In the Mugiji That was Willie Williams from 1979 I'm a Gideon time In the background of the Chambers Brothers telling us that the time has come today. The Chambers Brothers fused gospel and rock and roll, and sometimes even got a little bit psychedelic, like on this song.
It sure is death and taxes. The clock on the wall says it's time to go. As much as I might want to, I can't turn back those two hands. So we're going to move over and get out of the way and let the next show come on. We'll see you next week on Theme Time Radio Hour. Let me leave you with the words of the great poet Percy Shelley. Like the ghost of a dear friend dead is time long past. A tone which is now forever fled. A hope which is now forever past. A love so sweet it could not last was time long past. There were sweet dreams in the night of time long past. And it was sadness or delight each day a shadow onward cast. Which made us wish it might yet might last. That time long past... There is regret, almost remorse, for time long past. Tis like a child's beloved course, a father watches till at last. Beauty is like remembrance cast from time long past. Percy Shelley, Timeless Poet. I'll see you next week. You've been listening to Theme Time Radio Hour with your host, Bob Dylan. Produced by Eddie Gorodetsky. Associate producer, Sonny Webster. Continuity by Eats Martin. Edited by Damian Rodriguez. Supervising editor, Rob McCumber. The Theme Time Research Team, Diane Lapson and Bernie Bernstein. With additional research by Lynn Sheridan, Kimberly Williams, and Robert Bauer. Production assistance by Jim McBeam. Special thanks to Randy Azradi, Debbie Sweeney, Coco Shinomiya, and Samson Steiner. Travel arrangements, courtesy Samudio International Airport. For XM Radio, Lee Abrams. Recorded in Studio B, the Abernathy Building. This has been a Grey Water Park production in association with Big Red Tree. This is your announcer, Pierre Mancini, speaking. Join us again next week for Theme Time Radio Hour when the subject is guns. Guns.